Hello, peanut peeps. It's Peanut Chew. And today I want to talk about how I'm not lunch for the bugs. So let's go to the video. No bugs. <laughs> Hello, Peanut Peeps. It's Peanut Chew at Peanut Chew Ventures. How you doing? I'm doing great. Today, I want to talk about bugs. And because it's spring into summer, and it's a great time to get pictures of migrating birds. But also, when the birds come, the bugs come with the humidity and the heat. They, they come out, and I don't want to say they ruin everything, but they make things a little tough. Oh. Bugs? I'm not afraid of bugs. I'm afraid of rats. When I was when I was younger, living in Lower Manhattan, I used to live with rats. I still remember one incident. After all these years, I still remember one instance. I was sleeping with my covers on, and I felt something crawling on top of my chest. Instinctively, I threw the cover and I heard a thud on the floor. Man, that was a rat. After all these years, I still remember it. I'm afraid of rats, not bugs. How I solve it is I use this top and this bottom from the original Bug Shirt. Bugshirt.com, company in Canada, awesome. The product works. Yeah, when I started photography and went down to Sanibel Island, I had a rough experience, and that was with the noceums. They bit my hand. I was covered fully from here down to my ankles with a net, but they didn't bite there. They bit my hand, and they must have bit my hand 50 times. And that day I felt okay, but that night when I woke up, my hand was throbbing. So for about a week, that thing was itchy and pretty uncomfortable. So after that, I had to find a way to protect myself from bugs because I loved going out and taking pictures. I loved the birds. So I needed to find something and I have. It's the original Bug Shirt company, bugshirt.com. They have saved the day for me many times, and I love the product. That's why I want to tell you about it, because it works. This top, this bottom, the bugs can't bite through it. They don't bite through mosquitoes, flies, gnats. They cannot penetrate, and it's awesome. It has allowed me to stay out and taking pictures, no matter how buggy it is. I can put the top over my head where I'm completely covered, so nothing's getting in here. But if it's not too bad, I'll leave it open a little. Actually, it also has vents. I didn't mention, but it has vents on the side. So when it's hot, you, you do vent out a little. Now in the hot summer, it doesn't, this material doesn't absorb sweat. So it's good for the summer but it really works for the bugs. It has a cinch here and a, a cinch on the waist. So nothing goes up and nothing comes through and nothing can bite through. What I really like about the top is that it has a big pocket in the front here and it has a zipper so it doesn't fall out. But I can open it up. And what I like to store in here is batteries. I don't want to put it in my anywhere where it's not tightened up because if I lose a battery, batteries are expensive. So on the pants, it's elastic. Uh, and I do like this elastic. And also there's a cord where you can make it tighter or looser. So besides the pants where the bugs can't bite through, there is, it tightens on the bottom with elastic and there's a, a 
an elastic that goes under your foot so it keeps it down. Me, particularly, I don't use it because I put my socks over the uh, pants anyway. Now, the original Buckshire company, I called there, very nice people there, and they work with you, and it's a great company. So the cost of the product is $101 for the top of camo. I think it's 10 less if you don't get camo. And it comes in cotton and polyester. I have the polyester. The pants are $75. And I think shipping, I'll put what shipping is below, but I believe it's $20 because it's going through customs when you ship from Canada to US, if you're purchasing the US. Last summer, I, I probably got bit maybe 15 times throughout the summer. I was in very buggy places. Maybe I got bit 15 to 20 times, but every time I got bit, it was my fault. I, I either left this back like this and where my hand was exposed, they would bite me right here or bite me along here. It had nothing to do with the product. I didn't get bit underneath at all. So this is wonderful. So what I do besides wearing that, I wear a face mask and gloves. Could the bugs bite through these? Yes, but it helps. It helps against the gnats. It helps against the flies. When they don't feel your skin sometimes, they don't want to bite through. But can they bite through this? Yes, but it helps. I love the products, but Bugshirt.com, if you're listening, this is the only thing on my wish list. And that would be on the pants, two more pockets, one on each side and with a zipper. That would really help out. Because for me, when I go out there, I always need to carry things and batteries on the side there would be awesome or other accessories. So if you're listening, please. Okay. So, so with the pants, you know, nothing's biting through the top, but towards the bottom, I like to wear my socks over the pants. So nothing can get in that way. But you know, socks, bugs can actually go through a sock. So I put a pair of gaiters over it so they can't get through. Especially if you're walking out into deeper grass, the ticks, ticks could be a real problem. You really don't wanna mess with ticks. About 16 years ago, a tick got me. And it was one of the worst experiences that I had. I went to the doctor, they didn't know what it was. I had these tremendous headaches. After about three weeks after being bit, I felt like someone was putting a rake up my throat and doing this on my brain, it was so painful. And I did get a few spots, but no one could figure out wh what my issue was until about six weeks later, I just fainted because that Lyme disease affected my heart, which it does with some people. So I ended up in the hospital and it may have been a blessing in disguise because as soon as I got there, the doctor, I told him my symptoms and the doctor said, that's Lyme and it, it affected your heart. So what they had to do, I stayed in the hospital for a week. They had to put actually an external pacemaker down my jugular vein so it would get to my heart, but they didn't want to put it inside my body because those are permanent. So it was a temporary pacemaker and I was in the hospital for a week and they put a line here for a month where I got antibiotic. Once I got the antibiotic for a month, I felt back to normal. But tick, ticks and Lyme disease is a serious thing and probably not something you want to mess with. So this buck shirt, Dot com, the pants and top, I really recommend it for all bugs. So thanks for watching. See you next time in Peanut Tree Adventures.